You're very welcome to Farmy Library. Here I am once again in front of probably my favourite painting, which is the installation of the Prince of Wales as Knight of St. Patrick in St. Patrick's Cathedral in 1868. And for any of you who've been tuning in before now to some of our blogs and videos on the website, you will be familiar that this painting can tell maybe a hundred or more stories. So today what I want to do is maybe look at the story about the Guinness family because we have the Guinness family here seated in the centre of the painting. So we're going to talk about uh, Sir Benjamin Lee Guinness and this is the man who's here in a red jacket he's standing up and he's surrounded by his family. He had uh, four children, one daughter and three sons and it was his son Edward Cecil who would have bought Farmley here as a present for his wife, Adelaide, in 1873. But just to get back to where people are sitting here in the painting, because it's quite interesting, I think, that obviously there's about 155 people in this painting, mini portraits of them all, and they're certainly not social distancing physically. They're very uh, crammed in, sitting close together. But in actual fact, there is a form of social distance in one way, because according to their rank, or their hierarchy in society, they have grouped themselves together. And that is why the Guinnesses probably have prominent seats in the house in the centre of the painting and other people are spaced out further away. Some of the legal professions and other lords and ladies and knights. But just getting back to Benjamin here in the centre, he is uh, seated actually interestingly enough beside the Lord Mayor of Dublin at the time who was William Carroll and his wife, the Lady Mayoress, and then the Lord Mayor of London and his wife. And Benjamin himself was uh, the first Lord Mayor of Dublin. He was made Lord Mayor in 1851, so that was one of his claims to fame. And it's actually interesting that uh, since then I think there is a ration of Guinness allocated annually to the Lord Mayor in the Mansion House. So that tradition has continued. But he was famous too obviously because of his um, good uh, success as a brewer and a businessman. He was the richest man in Ireland at one stage after his father died in the 1855 um, around that time. But he was popular because he was generous. He would also have donated a lot of money um, to St. Patrick's Cathedral. And here he is sitting in St. Patrick's Cathedral. Back between 1860 and 1865, Guinness, um, you know, he, he donated between about £150,000 for the restoration of the cathedral where the spire was crumbling and it needed a lot of work done and he took care of that. So there are a, a lot of links still between the Guinness family and St. Patrick's Cathedral. Um, they have their own pew there, so they'll never be without a seat if they want to attend a service. They're also referenced on the stained glass windows there. Um, traditionally, the Guinness family tend to christen their children in St. Patrick's Cathedral. And there is a statue of uh, Benjamin Lee outside the cathedral. It's um, a bronze statue. It's the work of John Foley. And uh, here in Farmley, we have the links, you know, between St. Patrick's Cathedral and uh, Guinness. But we also have, um, surprisingly enough, hidden away in the bushes out on the estate here in Farmley, some old oaky windows from St. Patrick's Cathedral. And uh, if you care to come in and do a tour, maybe when we can reopen to do that, maybe the guides will be able to share some more information about so just getting back, I suppose, to the Guinnesses here, they uh, are here as a family and uh, in the cathedral. We have some lovely family portraits of them here in Farmley that if you wanted to come, you could go to the billiards room and see uh, pictures of Benjamin Lee Guinness and his wife, um, Elizabeth. So some lovely family portraits on display here and rightly so. Uh, sadly enough, um, Sir Benjamin here, he's in the painting here in 1868, but he died very shortly after this sitting um, for this portrait here at this event. So um, he didn't actually get to see the finished painting because it took the artist Michelangelo Hayes a few years to complete it. And uh, Benjamin had died in, I think it was the 19th of May, 17, um, 1868. So he didn't get to see that unfortunately. And uh, at the time of his death, he was uh, in the process of um, restoring Marsh's Library, which is up near St. Patrick's Cathedral. And uh, his son, Arthur, continued with that work after his death. 
And again, here in Farmley, we have uh, continued connections with Marsh's Library because where I'm standing now in the library, we have um, Benjamin Guinness III, Earl of Ivy's fantastic uh, book collection, which after his death uh, remained here in Farmley on display, um, but it is actually the property of Marsh's Library. So that's it really about the Guinness family here. Um, lots more stories we hope to tell later, so please tune in again because we will keep the stories coming from this fantastic painting.